This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So now in this session, I'll explain GL settings. So till now what we have done guys, till now I have uh, explained about enterprise structure before that some theoretical explanations were there. Right. So enterprise structure practically means practical session has started from enterprise structure, then basic setting in basic setting multiple topics, you know, I have explained over there and then GL settings. GL settings like here also practically theoretically practically everything I'm going to explain here. First of all, why GL setting? Hey, what is what is the need of this GL settings and all? So I'll tell you guys now what for are we going to, you know, implement this SAP in Tata Motor. So of course it's an ERP which is going to help them to manage all their whatever the financial transactions are there, right? So now here it means like with the help of SAP they are going to post multiple you know transactions and all. Now uh, say for example a simple rent paid worth of you know 1000, 2000 whatever amount is there. So rent account debit and bank account credit this is what the simplest transactions which is supposed to be posted into SAP. so here what is happening guys rent account is a GL account and bank account is also a GL account both are GL account itself now so here in order to post a transaction who is going to post the transaction the transaction is going to be posted by users users means Tata Motor employee. What about you people? You people are consultant. You are a consultant and the employee of Tata Motor is users. You know, consultant means whoever is going to implement this SAP, all the configurations will be done by consultant, right? And end user activity means transaction posting is end user activity. So once again, you will come to know about these, these six in details because still we are in very, what to say, this one itself. So I'll just do one thing now. So here, this is the transactions. Let's suppose rent account and bank account. Rent account and bank account. So rent is also GL, bank is also GL. It means if you have to post a transactions, you need to set up these two GL account in SAP first. These two GL account must be set up into SAP. Okay, so we have to set up this GL account. Right? How to set up the GL account, guys? That I'll let you know. But before setting up the GL account, before creating this GL account in USAP, we need to do certain, you know, basic settings are required for GL also. In the sense, some certain configurations are required. Some configurations we have to do. Okay? What are those configurations? That I'll explain. And one by one, we'll see how to configure those things before creation of GL account. Because if you have to post a transactions, you must be having GL accounts. And if you are going to set up GL account into system before that we have to do certain configurations as a consultant all the configurations will be done by you people in the sense since you are a consultant you guys are going to be consultant it will be done by you you people and transactions whatever day to day transactions are there that is getting posted into SAP that will be posted by users in the sense and it is also called end user so don't be confused guys users or end users or power user, super user, whatever it is, it is the same thing. What these people are going to do, they'll keep on doing data entry kind of job, which is why if we talk about the salaries and all, in terms of consultant and whatever the end users are there, there is a huge difference. Why? Because consultant means you guys are coming from a technical side, side, configurations in the sense like consulting profile is the part of IT, whereas the end user, whatever end user transaction posting is there, this is not the part of IT guys, you'll be we can say it's about a BPO or just like a finance account or whatever it is you can say. Now, so here we have to, we have to set up the GL account, but before setting up GL account, we have to do some configurations. What are those configurations? We'll discuss one by one. In this session, I'm going to explain, look at your third of account, then account group, then return on your account, and then we have to create the GL masters. So first of all, in this session, I'll explain about chart of account, okay? Now, what is this chart of account? Why to set up the chart of account? Right. So the first thing, if you talk about chart of account, guys. Now, chart of account is what? Chart of account is group of 
GLC. Okay, if you search the definition of the chart of account anywhere, you'll be finding chart of account is nothing but group of GL accounts. So now here we'll discuss about this one, the chart of account. Now, so why do we need to set up the chart of account that we need to understand? Okay, I'll just do one thing then. Okay, so I will now. So here, first of all, what we have to do, guys, we have to create a chart of account. Okay, I'll tell you the logic behind this. We have to you have to create a chart of account. So let's suppose chart of account is supposed to be created. Your chart of account is let's suppose I'm going to create a chart of account. So the code four digit code here also you need to give T C O A. This is my chart of account. And after creation of this chart of account, this must be assigned against your company code. So company code is team project right and what i said chart of account is nothing but list of gl account it means whatever the gl accounts are going to be created guys these gl accounts are going to be created against this chart of account okay let's suppose 500 gl has created so this gl we have created against this chart of account tcoa now the question is why not to create GL account directly against company code? Why? Because if you talk about the creation, if you talk about the steps, right? So the first step, first step, you have to create chart of account, right? Second step, you have to assign this chart of account to your company code. And then you are going to create your GL account against your chart of account. Now, the thing is, if 500 GL we are going to create directly against company code itself, then this creation and assignment configuration is not required. Right? So the question is why SAP has not given this functionality? Why are we going to set up GL account against a chart of account? Again, in, in GL account also, you'll be having two segments, guys, chart of account segment and company code segment that is going to be explained. So, um, basic explanations I'm giving so that you guys will be having perfect understanding because we need to understand the logic as I told you if you don't understand the logic and all entire configurations all the creations everything nothing is going to work out guys you need to understand why and then how okay so why to set up chart of account okay so that's what I'm explaining here so chart of account as I told you that chart of account is supposed to be created and it is supposed to and it is supposed to be assigned against your company code and whatever gl accounts are going to be created that is going to be created against your chart of account itself so the so the question was why to set up chart of account and why gls are going to be created against chart of account why not to create against company code itself so these two steps creation and assignments at least we can avoid so there is a logic behind that Okay, let's suppose you are having team double zero. This is one company code. Later on, Tata Group is having multiple subsidiaries, so TC double zero also, and DS double zero also, DH in the terms of Dial Group, right? Multiple company codes are there. It means multiple subsidiaries are there. And even these subsidiaries also, whatever GL accounts are going to be created for Tata Motor, even these subsidiaries, these company code also required the similar and same GL accounts. Might be five or ten or twenty ups and downs, right? Ups and downs means for Tata Chemicals might be this is we require only 480 GL accounts. Tata still says I need 430 GL accounts. Tata Hotel Group says I need 450 GL accounts. It's okay, but multiple common GLs will be there. Let's suppose 400 common GLs are there. Rent related GLs required for Tata Motor, so Tata Steel, so Tata Chemical, also likewise bank GLs, likewise petty gas GL, likewise multiple, you know, audit fee GLs, right? Multiple, uh, you know, GLs are there, salary, uh, you know, sales and revenue. Multiple GLs are there, which is required for these company codes. 
so what is the benefit of creating the gl account against this chart of account guys see the 500 gl we have created against this chart of account later on during a rollout the same chart of account is going to be assigned to each company code also same chart of account is going to be assigned to these company code also it means the 500 gl which we have created against this chart of account these 500 gl will be available for these it means these 500 gl can be used by these company code also. still some questions will be there in your mind guys but don't worry i'll clarify one by one i'll explain each and everything i know that some questions will be there in your mind but right now what is happening here so if we have created gl account this 500 against this chart of account and in this chart of account i have assigned against tata motor it means tata motor will be able to use this 500 gl the same chart of account if i'm going to assign to a different company code so even this company codes also will be able to use this gl account but still there are a few more activities which will come into picture later it's not like that directly we are going to use the uh, gl account some steps will be there like we have to extend the gl account gl extension will come into picture but again that is a uh, you know further discussions right now what is the logic behind this chart of account so as i told you chart of account is nothing but the list of gl account chart of account is nothing but the list of gl account so here whatever gl accounts are going to be set up that is going to be set up against chart of account so and is, if this chart of account is going to be assigned to five uh, four company code five company code or ten company code all company code will be able to use the gl account which we have created against this particular chart of account so guys this is what the logic this is what the logic okay now again so i'll just do one thing now i will create the chart of account okay i'll create the chart of account how to set up chart of account guys let me log in here now let me log in guys i'll show you so creation if you talk about the creation of chart of account or if you talk about the configuration part configuration parts are quite easy okay configuration parts are quite easy look at here how to set up chart of account so chart of account again and again if you talk about the chart of account guys chart of account is further going to be segregated in three part okay Three different chart of account will be there one is called operational chart of account which i'm going to set up here right now and then we are having group chart of account and then we'll be having country specific chart of account also see operational chart of account country specific chart of account and group chart of account operation chart of account means this is the normal chart of account which i'm going to set up here okay country specific chart of account is going to be set up to meet country specific legal requirement case and group chart of account generally it is going to be set up in case if all let's suppose tata motor is sorry tata group is having four company code and every company codes are using different different chart of account different different chart of account okay so in that case what is happening guys if you want to see the consolidated balance consolidated in the sense like for this one for data motor different financial statement for data still different financial statement but if you want to see the you know whatever the reports are there consolidated figure if you want to see at group level then how it is going to happen guys so for that a group chart of account supposed to be created and all this operating chart of account is going to be linked with that group chart of account okay bit complex procedure is there guys right now uh, don't look at this one you just create the chart of account and proceed further 
Okay. So here. Now use OB13 inventory and TCOA. Here I'm going to give a description. Language. So kids, English language. If you type E here, automatically the system is going to find out. And length of the GL account number. Now whatever GL accounts are going to be created into SAP guys, whichever GL accounts are going to be created into SAP. So those GL accounts will have certain length. Okay, GL account means GL account means that like certain GL codes will be set up into SAP. That anyway, I'll, I'll show you practically. So whatever the GL codes are going to be set up, so there should be some length. Let's suppose rent account. I'm saying that rent account GL code is four thousand, or it fee is four thousand one. So what is the length of this one, guys? Four digit only, right? So what should be the length of GL? Four digit. Five digit, six digit, digit, eight digit, or what? So maximum ten digit length can be given. Maximum how many digit? Ten digit length can be given. So here I'm going to give four digit length only, and even I'll recommend you people also to give four digit in the sense to use four digit length itself because it will be easy for you guys to remember your GL account number. If you are going to give ten digit length here, then it is not possible to remember the your GL account number at all. It, it's it's going to create the confusion. So better to give four digit length itself. In real time, what is happening? In real time, which length is going to be used? So I'll tell you guys. In real time, four digit length is not going to be used. Minimum six digit or eight digit or ten digit. These are the length is going to be used in real time. Okay. So now here I've given four digit length and I just. Don't make any this one. Now here, group chart of account. As I told you, group chart of account is going to be set up for consolidated consolidations for purpose and all. So if this is operating chart of account which we have set up, right? And what will happen, guys? If if every company goes are having different different chart of account, in that case, what is happening? A group chart of account will be created, and that is going to be assigned here. Press enter. If here block in that status block here, if you're going to apply a block, there will be some impact somewhere, guys. That also I'll show you practically. Okay, if you're going to apply a block here, uh, the GL account creation is not possible at chart of account level itself. This is what the what is this one? Even you guys also can do the practically. You can check it. Okay, or is if possible. So now here, what I'm done? I've created my chart of account. So this chart of account I have created for Tata Motor that I know and even you guys also know. What about SAP? How SAP will come to know, guys? So SAP will come to know only if you assign this chart of account to your company code. So you just do one thing. OB62 is the transaction code by which we are going to assign. So you click on position. And give your company code team level G. And here chart of account. So here chart of account will be your T C O A. So this is the operational chart of account is going to be given here. And if you have any country specific chart of account that is going to be created here. Sorry, that is going to be assigned here. Just save it. We don't have any country specific chart of account. I have used this operational chart of account. You have to assign here. Now so what we have done guys, we have created chart of account and we have assigned this chart of account to the company code. These are the configuration steps guys. These steps we have to do before creation of GL account because if you are going to create a GL account, this GL account is going to be created against which chart of account? The question is, so first of all, you have to create a chart of account, right? And this chart of account is going to be assigned to the company code as well. Now, still, there are uh, other settings also that I'm going to explain in next session. So, that's all in this session, guys.